Girlfriend, let me tell you something. There is a new cowgirl in town and her name is Magic Star. Woo! <laughs> this is it. This is the new girl that we've been waiting for. And this is what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. Uh, I love the packaging. Um, but yeah, she's like kind of like blowing a lot of good concealers out of the water for me. In fact, I put them all in a bowl and I took them all away because I, I just don't need them on my vanity now. Like I'm just using this. I had ones that I used for um, when I wanted a natural finish, I would use a certain concealer. When I wanted one to be long lasting, I would use a certain concealer. Airbrush, blah, 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 blah. This one is so versatile and so awesome. I, this is all I've been using. Um, I've done all the scientific research for you. Um, I was with Arbonne for 10 years. I'll link my introduction video below, but basically I've done all the science for you and, it, and fully understood and have been wear testing this like crazy um, since the day I got it so that you can um, understand how to use this product the best because um, I believe in these products. I believe in Jeffree Star Cosmetics ingredients and integrity and products and I wanted to, to create something and give you some information so that you can use this um and know how to use it and like be like oh cool like that's awesome so just keep watching and I'm going to um I'm going to show you how to use it um to get more of the full coverage um the full coverage look and I'll show you how to get a natural finish with it as well so just keep watching um, and what I wanted to talk about right now before we start the like application is I wanted to say that like, you know, like, you know, we know concealers conceal, right? right? Like that's just like a given, right? Well, um, not only is it freaking amazing as a concealer, but it's bumped up to the next level because it's also an anti-aging um, it's an anti-aging concealer as well and product. So it's the, there's sophist very sophisticated silicones and, um, they're really hard to pronounce. <laughs> I'll link them below so that you have them. Um, actually you have them look on the, look on the box or on the website to find the ingredients, but they're basically very plumping fillers. So it's almost like a cosmetic filler but not a pharmaceutical filler, like more of just like a makeup filler. It's gonna fill in your texture, your lines, your wrinkles. Um, so not only is it gonna give you pigmentation to color, to co cover with color, but it's gonna plump your skin as well and give you some antioxidant ingredients in here as well, which I thought was awesome because I use really great skincare. So I loved that like, this kind of helps my skincare um, with my makeup, like kind of combines it together, which I love. And I'm always super concerned about my, under my eyes because I'm, you know, um, insecurities about them. But now I don't have any insecurities because I feel like so happy wearing this. I feel so much more confident and pretty. Um, I don't have to worry, um, like if it's working or not, like I know it's working. Um, I also did test uh, Magic Star on different, for you, on a different types of foundation. So I tried it with um, a very um, a very mattifying foundation, um, very glow and satin, and they performed awesome. Do you know how sometimes you put on a foundation and you put on a concealer and it's just like, oh, like, that was a freaking like disappointment, waste of time. Um, you don't have to worry about that at all with this product. It works beautifully. The formula works beautifully with all of them. So give me a sec. I will get my face ready again um, to show you how to um, best use Magic Star. To show you what I'm working with here, like, look at that, no joke. No joke, real dark. Um, I have freckles. I have, 
you know, like a like more mature-ish skin. So um, I have my dampened sponge with a tiny bit of um, foundation still on. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take... Oh, one thing that I wanted to explain to you about this applicator is um, take a look at the... Um, angle how it goes up it's like it's such an awesome such an awesome applicator and then it has this beautiful like little pocket and then check out that freaking like little tip it's so pointy and perfect I'm going to point it directly in where I want it to go and then I what I like to do this is this is the method that I like to use for um giving more of that full coverage look. Um, what the normal brand is that you're used to, I guess you could say, with Magic Star, but it's prettier than that. It ends up being prettier, like a more, like a prettier full coverage. So this is how you do it, um, in my opinion, from what I found before, yeah. So you take it and all of those beautiful like silicones and stuff, the sophisticated formula, you just smooth and this kind of like fills it fills all that stuff in and then I like going up high and then you dip in again and do the same thing to the other side let me see if I can uh, angle this a little bit better for you there we go then go all the way up to the tip you can go back and forth if you want and then what I like to do is I have a plethora of brushes that I like to use with Magic Star. Um, like I said, I've been testing and playing with this. Um, so I really like this Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. I like this Japanesque um, 726. And I like this Morphe um, Concealer Buffing Brush. A Morphe M173 so I like these so what I'm doing I just applied all that right so at this point what I like to do to get that full coverage um, finish is I like to let the water kind of like evaporate a little bit and kind of like um, so that I'm just working with the the actual formula and product um, so while while this is kind of like you know, doing its thing, what I want to do now is take my C2, that was C6 for me, this is C2, and I just want like a little bit, but look at how cool, because of the applicator, like how awesome you can really get in there detailed. Oh, I missed a spot over here with my foundation. Here we go. And then do your little button nose. Don't forget your button nose. I love having a button nose. Or I'm like trying to get one anyway. Do you keep this bow? And down here. And now you're gonna let that go. Okay. And then I pre-mixed my contour shade my C2 and my C24 on my JS3. And now we are going to add that right there. Look how beautiful that looks so far. So we're gonna let that sit and now we're gonna go back to um, under our eyes and we're going to tap the edges and buff and just the edges so kind of keep the center leave it alone for now and just tap out the edges a little bit now that you've got more of the product just like doing its thing and get on up there cl as close to the nose as that you like it however you like to snatch your nose and then tap Tap the edges right there. 
And you can also point like this to tap if you want. Just see what's giving you the best results with, with your brush. So right now you're just tapping the edges, that's it. You do this side. Now, this isn't how necessarily how I would do this for every concealer. So this is just how I would do this for this formula. And I love the wearability, how long it wore. I love the colors. I love the finish. So we're tapping. And then you can blend out and you can tap out and blend these edges as well. But like, look at that under my eyes already. Wow. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is take that fluffier ELF um, Flawless Concealer Brush and then we're gonna do the same kind of thing to um, the highlight. Try to do this so I'm not like you so I'm not in your way. There we go. And we're tapping and blending out. And these are like all your high points that you just want to like make pop out, and then like your contour is gonna make it go in when you're looking at things artistically and shadows. Ooh, we forgot a couple areas, but we'll we'll do that after I buff this out when we're doing our, so tapping and buffing. You can do this with on the nose too, but like look at how fast it blends after you let the water evaporate. I just think it's so pretty. Then you wanna grab your um, like, I use, I like to use a tiny concealer brush, sponge, <laughs> and um, you're gonna tap out that line right here. We're not gonna spend too much time on that and then take a part of it to sort of dab it in. Okay, and then you're going to go back to your contour to blend that out, but the spots that we forgot are right here and right here. So there we go and then I'm seeing a spot right there. I want to get it. Okay. So then, like, look at how easy that is to blend now. Look at that. Um, hello. So pretty. And then, because this has been sitting, it's already ready. And then we're just gonna. Tap and blend, tap and blend, just depending on how how you like your shape of your forehead to be. And then take um, your sponge and then you're just gonna kind of blend all the harsh edges. There you go. These are, this. now this is connected. Pretty good. There we go, just kind of blend in all of the edges. Okay, so then you're gonna go back and do one final blend under your eyes. Tap, 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 and blend. Tap, tap, tap. and blend. Okay, voila, so far. So then you're gonna take your little sponge, if you have one, and dampen it. Um, and then you're gonna grab your super amazing smelling Magic Star powder that smells like you feel like you're a little girl and you're gonna put like some Hello Kitty stuff on your face. Oh, I love the way it smells. It smells like um, cotton candy or marshmallows. Um, so just put a little bit in here. It was really easy to open, by the way. 
the little flap was so easy and then just dip a little bit in like your tip. You could use a brush for this if you didn't want to use a tiny little sponge. And then I don't like to go too high. So I'm just going to do that. And whenever you want to retouch your magic star, you're going to use the weakest muscle in your finger to dab it um, because this won't pull your muscles and won't contribute to wrinkles. And um, you're just going to reactivate the ingredients whenever you want to retouch if you need to. Which you might not. Okay. So now I have that set. You can also do right here. And you can use a different brush for that. This is a JS5. You could use the lighter one if you want. Um, your lightest one, I just didn't want it to be too, I like it to kind of match this tone. See, look at that. And then just blend that again with your foundation. And then, um, and then you're going to take your powder brush, or in this case, my adorable Jeffree Star Cosmetics JS2. Pick up that beautiful powder again, and you're going to tap it all in. And tap, 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 tap. There we go. Oh boy. It reminds me, I used to have like one of those um, airbrush systems and I used to airbrush my skin, my face, my foundation and it, it looks like that. Totally looks like that. I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna squeeze this brush. Which one was this again? This is the JS3 of the contour that I have. contour shades okay good so I'm just going to finish under my eye makeup and add some bronzer and then I'm going to show you how beautiful um, I'm, we're going to do highlight together and I'm going to show you how beautiful it looks with, with magic star and highlighter okay so I added a little bit of uh, blue velvet under my eyes and in my uh, waterline um, I wanted you to kind of see like a darkness against um, the flawlessness of the um, magic star, but doesn't it look pretty so far? But look at, um, I'm going to add Peach Goddess and look at how awesome um, highlighter goes on with this formula because remember we brought it down to like here, right? Sorry, I'm like not wearing my um, nails today, but um, so Look at that. It's just like, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it almost, it's almost like it creates a new environment for your highlighter. It's just, it's so awesome because I always have to be careful when I am working with different um, concealers, how my highlighter looks can, can look funky, but this looks gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. You can kind of scrunch this. This is, I'm just using a uh, JS6. Oh, I love Peach Goddess, so pretty. And you can put some, you can put some here too. But, uh, yeah what do you think I love it I think it's so pretty I'm so excited 
I hope you try Magic Star for yourself and I hope it becomes part of your everyday life and I hope you love it as much as I do. This is like, you must be my lucky star. It is, it's my lucky star. It's like my microphone too. And like my wand and like, um, what does he say? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I won't do that because that's his. I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy your magic star. Bye-bye.